what day is this? No. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna move some stuff out of here. We have that guy. I think we need power steering fluid in this car. This is the tank, man. Look at it. It's these are these are the tiers of haters on the side of this thing. We gotta put like a vinyl star on the side. I've been with you 17 years. I can't get you to throw stuff away. How'd Nick do it? I'm like, he just made me feel bad about it. He didn't yell at me about it. He just made me feel bad. <laughs> but anyway, this stuff's gonna probably stay here. Yeah, because that's the stuff you used to build. Well, I also would like to keep it near and close. What's cool though is the storage unit we I got has an alarm on it. Oh. Yeah. And it's in a climate controlled room. Ooh. Yeah, where it's all spiffy. So fancy. I was worried that was gonna follow me the other day. Why'd you put it up there? Because it was out of sight and out of the camera range. Well, it's in sight now and camera range. Yeah. Look. You know what we should have done? Is set up a uh, like a GoPro time lapse camera in, in here. But now it, something tells me it would just take too long to get it going. Although maybe not, because I have the battery have the, pack. And you have those memory cards too. We'll be back. Okay. Transition. That's going to do a time lapse now of us trying to get a lot of the stuff in here in storage and then make this a much more usable build space. Because let me tell you right now, when I'm recording in here and I've got this boom mic all like this extended, right, pointing at me, I've got the camera here and I've got this light over here, it's not easy to get around. And there's still gonna be some videos recorded in here even though we're moving into the studio in a couple weeks because this is still gonna be my build space, like for the custom stuff. Like regular old PC builds that are fairly basic will happen in the studio. But the custom things like the Terry Crews is gonna happen here. So anyway, we're gonna put that down. We'll vlog some stuff throughout the day. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's do this a la Paul's hardware. Well, okay. It's kind of how he does it, huh? Just time lapse everything. It looks okay. cool though. I have to get this going just in case you fall. I'm, I've done this before and fallen. The shoes aren't helping here. Ah, there we go. These are my old fat pants. Yeah, remember I always said it used to be 500 pounds? I wasn't kidding. These are these are my biggest pants I ever owned. I'm now in one leg. Hmm. Look at that. I've had me and two girls in these pants before. Oh my gosh. At the gym. My trainer. You got two of the female trainers to get in these pants with me. Dang. So I was able to say I've had two girls in my pants at the same time. <laughs> All that just for bragging rights. Now you're just ready to go to raves because you have like the fattest pants. <laughs> I feel like MC Hammer. <laughs> did, did. Parachute pants were a thing in the 90s. Oh shit. I almost fell in the box. <laughs> it looks like you're twerking, but you're really not. It's almost like we're on the show Storage Wars. Look what I found in this unit. Hi. I'm worth a lot of money. <laughs> I can tell you exactly what you're worth. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, pay, the pay stub proves it. You got it, right? I emailed it to you. Yeah. Okay, I got cool. It. Just make sure. Okay. Because compliance. <laughs> so here's our storage unit. It's got a high ceiling up there. But yeah, this is where stuff is going to go. And him. That's where I'm going to keep him when I'm not actually making him work. Yeah, I'm going to put my bed here. Yeah. But that means no, there's no be... living in the storage units. I signed a contract that says uh -oh. you can't. So I can't live here then? No. And that we means... can't store drugs and stuff in here either. That means I'm back under your stairs. No vaping in here either. Oh, shit. So, anyway, yeah, we're going to make some more runs. And, I don't uh, like these conditions already. <laughs> maybe we'll get to Ikea. Wait, I got this. Hold on. There we go. Man, I feel so powerful right now. Hey, my cart is 1JZ powered. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that one before. Oh my gosh, this is the second time I use it. But halfway through the day ish. More than halfway, it's already almost 2 o'clock. It's 1.42, we got 15 minutes for two. Anyways, or close to 15 minutes. Whatever. So we got the storage stuff done, which he's really excited about because now he has more studio space. Yeah. Or built shop space, not Still studio. have to move all the recording equipment back in there though. We'll kind of do at the end of this video like a little run through of the equipment I'm using now. Um, not like a, I don't know if it deserves its own dedicated video. You guys can tell me if you think it does. We'll talk about what cameras I'm using, the sliders and lights and all that stuff. The things it takes to bring the magic that is Jay's Two Cents to your screens. The behind the scenes. 
I told him a while back to get I want practicing. him to take his DS his, his Nikon or Nikon Nikon whatever you want to call it because everyone calls it something a little different to take his camera and just film shit just practice film shit and show me what he can come up with has he showed me anything not yet have you truly done anything I storyboarded <laughs> I have this vision but I want to like nail it to show you because if I fail like I want to be able to do it so I can be proud of it instead of like hey look this is what I did and just showing you like, if you think paperwork. anything you do is going to meet the standard that you set for yourself you're wrong you're never going to meet your standards but no I, video is going to be perfect but like a baseline and then build off of that dude trust me you're going to have a lot to build on okay you, you're, you're not going to nail this your first time nobody does I didn't and I'm still not nailing it almost five years into this and I'm still evolving and growing I just wanted to see where you are now so I knew what I needed to do to train you to get you more hands off for me being hands off behind the scenes but you're not less, showing me anything less micromanaging jeez you need to show me what you can do that's the whole point of this yeah movements maybe maybe the exercise had nothing to do with the video at all holy shit mind blown I care about your creativity got it Last spring break this week. Do okay. something. Yeah, I'm gonna do something. And I'm not even gonna be in town, so I can't even help you. I know that's the best part. So you're like, <laughs> wait, is the best part that I can't help you or that I'm not gonna be around? Both. <laughs> both. Both. When I did the whole like how to build your own workbenches, um, I used the the light density wood, which didn't take much for it to start warping and bowing because of the weight. And yeah. I don't want to put a leg in the middle of it because then I just keep kicking that leg. So we're just gonna find another solution maybe a heavier heavy wood. duty kind of, well because I got the whole idea from Paul's hardware yeah but he he didn't cheap out like I did he got the good wood Paul's got good wood he's yeah, got that good wood he's got good wood <laughs> oh it's called par, Paul's hardware for a reason keeping it hard yep we got stuff at Ikea new tabletops and these are the exact same ones Paul has now these are very dense a lot less likely to bow because I don't know if you can actually tell with those right there. Those, if I get down lower, they're bowed because they're like a particle board and not actually a dense wood. <laughs> the weight of just building computers and stuff on this has caused us to bow. So we got the heavy duty ones. And then this one, the big old island countertop that we're gonna be putting heavy duty legs on there so that I can actually uh, have bigger workspace out here. It's kind of the whole point of this. Anyway, the time lapse is still going. We'll just, you guys can watch the time lapse of this all going together. It's been a long day, like 13 hours or so. Cause it's 9.30, we started at 8.30 this morning. Yeah. Like we got a lot done in here. Um, so much more room for activities. This is what we do when we do a room tour of Walt Disney now. Uh, yeah, so look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Wow. That's what she said. It's gonna be huge. Uh, yeah, so that's new, that's new. This is real wood, not like particle board. It's not gonna bow on us, hopefully. Nice heavy duty. I mean, you can get a good idea of the size of it. That's the Tau 2.0 right there. So this is a pretty big countertop. Uh, let's talk about some of the equipment we use on the channel here real quick. This is my main camera right here. This is the Sony FS5 with a Metabones adapter and a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens. Uh, this is very overkill for a YouTube channel, trust me. This is a Manfrotto 502 head on a e-image tripo uh, video tripod. 
This is the newest edition. This is the, what are you doing? Are you Vanna Whiting? Yeah. This is the Sony A7S II. Again, with another Sigma 18 to 35. I love this lens. This lens is so sharp. Not even, it's not even funny how sharp this lens is for the price. It's fresh. The body is super small. Um, again, it's on another 502 head, which is on my Rhino um, Evolution or Evo slider. And it's got the Evo Motion on there, as well as the Rhino um, Arc head, which is a pan head. I think I've showed this before, maybe I haven't, but I it can actually control this thing via this little guy. So let me go ahead and turn it on. Turn on the Arc. So this guy's on right here with a tail with the 24 inch slider. I also have the four foot steel rails, which we'll be using in the studio. This is obviously not the studio. Uh, so you gotta tell it we also have the arc head and there's that, that's good. So we can set up a move here. It's gonna calibrate itself. And now I can tell it where I want it to point the camera on that position using this little wheel here. So let's say I want to point at the chair it's gonna to go to the other end of the slider now, all by itself. I tell it once again where to point at. Let's say I want it to point that way. It's making a big move, let's go like that way. Now I can control the speed at which it does that. I can make it go fast. I can make it go slow, even faster if I want. But I can also make it go really slow. See that? So yeah, that's that's how I've been getting some of that really sexy B-roll that you guys have been seeing lately. And then the tripods for those, those are two Benro um, Adventure carbon fiber tripods on there. So, and then that's Nick, of course. This is just one of my soft boxes here. I've got a bunch of cheap soft boxes, one there too. Nothing special with the lighting. I've got more lighting in the upstairs um, office. This is my boom arm that I will extend. And then that's my Audio-Technica 4053B hypercardioid microphone. I love this microphone. It's the best microphone I've ever used for vocals. And then I've got more stuff, obviously, in the studio. So all that stuff's gonna be moving to the new studio. But anyway, it's time to go. This video was kind of pointless, but it's the only way I was gonna get any content out while we were doing all this work. Why are you telling them that? Because it's, I'm just gonna tell them that before they tell me that. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I gotta try and at least say some of the hate myself before they do. Because then I take it, I take the power away. Gotcha. You take the power. When you make fun of yourself, you take away the power. Remember that, folks. All right, we'll, we'll see you later.